So that's a work called Red Alert, which is a sort of new media translation of a triptych which Soviet um, artist Alexander Vachenko did in 1921. So in 1921, he painted four panels called Pure Red, Pure Yellow, Pure Blue. And he said that's the primary colors, and it's as far as you can go in painting. That's the dead end, and that's it, his painting. So I tried to find screens which match the sizes of Vachenko as faithfully as possible, which turned out to be those. I'm not getting paid by the company. <laughs> um, and I put on a color which is actually the sort of highest um, threat level um, color. Uh, I think the attack is imminent, is what it means, um, issued by the Homeland Security Department uh, of the United States after 9-11, sort of, uh, I don't know, suggesting maybe that that was the primary color of that specific period. So that's, um, and, and it, this is interesting also because it's actually a film, you know, it's not an image, it's not a JPEG, it's a moving image, but we're just totally monochrome, so nothing happens, it's, it's a complete freeze, you know, even though it's moving, it actually isn't. Well, and then Red Alert 2 relates to that because when it was first shown, um, there was no explanation whatsoever, and people ha had no idea whether they were working properly or what was going on or you know, whether there was something to be shown afterwards and so on. So um, actually, um, a day after the opening, a, a, a press picture appeared in the German newspapers, but since it was like the picture on the day of the main, let's say, German press agency, it went viral, it was all over the world, and the caption was, is something behind this, and you saw a visitor sort of stretching his neck and peering behind it. So I started to collect all the amateur pictures and also press photos which were sort of on the web of this um, specific image and rearranged them into an animation so that actually this frozen image would be reanimated again, but through the points of views of other people. So one of these pictures is taken by myself. It's just that I recombined them uh, I recombined the, the different perspectives of you know, uh, um, exhibition visitors and press photographers or whatever to make it into an animation. 